The other important thing is that in light of the developments we've had in the research with the cancer, as we said, we did the first trial with a non-toxicity, which shows that the material is totally non-toxic. And then we did a cancer sample test. And as we informed you that the uh, third trial, which is to do with the animal test, started some two weeks ago. The results from the test coming from Tokyo is so um, important and it's so radical that we have requested the Tokyo University, the Cash Foundation, for a direct live presentation. Maybe the first stage will be done by us and the second stage will be done by the scientists from Tokyo University. The reason for this is that in this third trial, which is usually takes months for any response, the drastic results and the data achieved has to be shared internationally very rapidly. What we've seen is that in the trial case that they have divided the animals in five groups, one sample group, one to be used for one method of uh, processing, and three, four methods have been chosen. The first method which has been chosen by the scientists at the university started two weeks ago. In that batch, there are 10 animals, 10 mice. We usually expect, after confirmation of the cancer being progressive in the body of the animal, we give them some days for the cancer to grow fully, and then they take the data on the markers and the tumor. When we achieve that point of saturation, they call it that the cancer reversal process can be started. What we have seen is total reversal in all 10 mice, which means 100%. This is a major breakthrough for the science. But what we have seen additionally is that we saw the first 23 to 30% reduction in the first two days. So the cancer automatically reduces. What we have seen further, except one mice which took him, or her, we don't know, till seventh, the eighth day to show the response, every other mice more or less shows 100%, no markers, no tumor by the fifth day. This is a radical change. The first two animals were sacrificed last week, and in that process, we have seen no toxicity whatsoever in any organs. So it shows the process is completely non-toxic. At the same time, what we are seeing that there is no residual of CO2 in any organs. We've seen very, very small, as the scientists say, negligible amount of CO2 and other ganses which has been applied in the first lining of the stomach, which they say that's normal in 10 days, this usually washes out. And we've seen a small, very small amount of, negligible amount of um, CO2 in, in the blood content. This has a lot of implication, we'll explain. From what we've seen, and what the report is coming from Tokyo University and the scientists in the Far East, it is the responsibility of the Keshe Foundation to share the knowledge as we've done immediately, transparently. We took a decision in the discussion with the doctors yesterday in the medical teaching. Unanimously, without single one opposing it, the medical team of the Geshe Foundation have decided that we go ahead with sharing the knowledge. Which means every man on this planet can help themselves with any cancer. This changes the course of pharmaceuticals. We have to remind you that this test is only done for stomach, intestine, and what we call the last part of the digestion system. The reason we are going in this way is very simple. We are asking if you know, if you are in touch with, if you have scientists who are experts in the ways of uh, cancer, to invite them to come to what we call the Cancer Blueprint Day, which is the 18th of April, next Tuesday. The way we shared on a Blueprint Day, the Magraph system and the energy, the 18th of April, the Cash Foundation openly will disclose the whole process. 
If you have the expertise and you think you can use it at home, you're welcome to it. This allows us to bring other research development organizations to share the knowledge. We took this decision of the medical team to the Universal Council yesterday as they were in the session, and we left them to them as this is their work to bless the work for the Keshe Foundation and support it through what it goes. So those of you who are or can go on the internet, we will release openly the whole process, the papers, the research, the development, on Thursday, this session will last maybe five to ten hours, we do not know, we take it as it is. Dr. Rodriguez will present a cancer tumor which we kept away, but it was shown in full in Rome conference as a presentation paper. On the conclusion of the discussions and the papers, Dr. Rodriguez and Dr. Paris and I will fly to Tokyo to for the full press conference presentation of the technology in the coming days. We wait till the Tokyo University conference are moved. This will change a lot of things for the Foundation because this way not only we deliver a scientific paper, we put an end to all the what I call riffraff talks of the people around whatever it does. It's important that we follow the process very, very closely. We have to look for a lot of things. We have to look for any condition that our people or the scientists around the world would like to see. For those institutes or organizations or companies, be pharmaceutical, be university, be a scientific individual, who would like to have access to or try to collaborate fully, we have opened and will open the line is collaboration at cancerprocessing.org. We're looking for collaboration in a large way. We transfer through our channels the full technology to the Chinese government directly to the Office of His Excellency President Xi on a direct line next week. This is important as we receive a lot of support from Chinese. We will transfer the full knowledge directly into seven major pharmaceutical organizations around the world. It means we don't wait for them to come and look we deliver it to them directly on the lines we have, which means they can see the whole presentation and they can start the process. The process is important to be understood, will bring huge, huge changes in chemotherapy, in other type of cancer research development. We don't wait that they find us that what we are doing, we're going to major pharmaceuticals. This is what we discovered, this is your right to copy, because for, for us to reach every man on this planet is very difficult, but there are hundreds of thousands of pharmacies around the world which they can dispense it. This gives us two opportunities, first of all is that the technology will be transferred and with it will be carried directly to public. On the other hand, because of the way we share it, the astronomical cost of the development or marketing will literally disappear. We estimate this is the biggest problem we have. We, we discussed it with uh, a small short meeting with uh, Caroline, the two Carolines of board of members, one my wife and one of Dr. Klaus, as they stand the same right as the rest of the members of the council, is that the cost of total treatment, the whole, what we call the processing, is less than one euro. It costs less than one euro to save a life now with cancer. And why do we see hundreds of thousands of dollars to save life? So, as we said, we call it the one euro cancer processing. It costs more to ship than it costs to manufacture. What we decided to do, we leave it to the people under discretion on use to donate to the foundation, that us putting a limit on it. This changes the whole game. It means pharmaceutical will have it, but they can't do much with it because they can't make astronomical prices. On the other hand, it brings it at the reach of everyone. 
A copy of the teaching will be delivered and we ask you please, from whichever country you are, deliver it to your embassies, deliver it to your government. It's your right. The last time we gave the knowledge of the energy and the rest in a USB stick. Now we want a bit more advanced. We do it to mobile use sticks, which is a human beings. Carry it, deliver it to every doctor. Deliver it to the health ministries. We have to change the course. We have no choice. And they can play hide and dock. We announced the, what we call the injection process treatment a few weeks ago. And we stop with that because now this process is completely non-injection and is direct consuming the material. But it has to be done in a specific way, in a specific pattern. Remember when it comes to the gas waters, how you drink two waters can change your blood pressure or can change your diabetic. The beauty with this technology is there are horses for courses, as we said many times. You have to decide what, or the physicians have to decide what is good for what. What we see from the research data development, which will be released in the blueprint day, the total amount for 100 kilogram person is about one milligram. This is the effectiveness we see. So this changes a lot of things in so many ways. So what we call one euro, Cancer Processing Blueprint Day will be on Tuesday the 18th. We start at 9 o'clock Central European time, as usual. Where we'll be, we don't know. And wherever we are, we will carry on with the teaching and the process of learning. This changes a lot for all of us. Many of you suffer from cancer. Many of you know people who suffer from cancer. We delivered the knowledge as a research paper on the Cash Foundation, and it's for you to decide the usage or development. The data on the first two research papers, trials, are so perfectly presented by the scientists in Tokyo University that FDA and the Standard Board have accepted it outright because there is no ambiguity that the research is according to me. The research carries the name of the Keshe Foundation and Spaceship Institute. It's the research we have paid for, and as part of the structure, we invest into this research much more. The beauty of it is, nowhere ever in the world of medicine, except maybe headaches and inflammation, we have seen changes in three days. We see the progress of change in three days. What we need to know, how far can we expand this? We need to know how do we develop this towards the liver cancer, pancreas cancer, cancer with other part of the body of the man. Or would this material transfer itself to other part of the body to eradicate cancer? The answer is two ways. As I was discussing with the scientists in Tokyo yesterday, if you notice, in my talk a few minutes ago, I explained that we see a small amount of CO2 in the bloodstream. Totally negligible, absolutely negligible. But this gives us a very good indication that with this process, the GANS material is transferred to the other organs by the blood. So any secondary cancer can be overcome. This is the beauty of what we're looking at. So hopefully, in 30 days, in 60 days, when a large number of people go through this process, you have to understand one thing. We are releasing the science as a scientific development in the world of healthcare. It is for organizations and individuals to take their own precaution and understanding. We deliver scientific data in what we see, total not toxicity in the um, organs, and what we see as the change of the cancer in five days with most of the animals. This is another change in the whole direction of the Cash Foundation disclosures, open disclosures. We share freely, and hopefully by the next couple of months, we will see a lot of people will respond. Please, we advise you, 
with the link which will provide for the blueprint, go and send it directly to the pharmaceuticals. Send it to the doctors, send it to the hospitals, and tell them to watch. The course has changed. This is important because with this we will see other changes because we know this material in its progress at this rate will change a lot of things. It's the responsibility of the people who use it on themselves. We are delivering the understanding of the science of the technology of the plasma within the structure of the body of the man. We are not telling you do this or that and you come and sue us. We are telling you you want to do it yourself, do it at home. Or give it to the pharmaceutical guy, pay them a lot of money and say, I want the result. I'm sure within the next few weeks, as I said, the pharmaceutical organizations will see a change in their value in the stock exchange. That's inevitable. The more data is released by the application, the more we will see the changes. So, we have, as we say, we have a rendezvous on Tuesday the 18th at 9 o'clock Central European time. Depends how long we'll take. We are still doing a lot of talking with our colleagues in Tokyo that would they like to be on camera? Would we not risk their lives? Would the government of Japan will protect their scientists at the highest level? Most probably we'll, hear, we'll meet and discuss with the American officials on the same basis because this is a huge Game changer. You have to understand, you don't need to go anywhere. You take your tablet at home, cancer becomes another headache. In five days, ten days, nobody can tell what to do. But to start with, to make a cancer like a headache to take an aspirin, we need to create a lot of data. We need to be able to confirm our work through our collective disclosures. Those who would like to do the work, please do what we did before. If you remember back in the time when we gave the USB stick, the cash foundations literally bombarded their embassy. We won the key. And it forced a lot of ambassadors and governments to change their position because of receiving so much communications from their people. This is one of the reasons we are in the beautiful country of Italy. The Italians literally bombarded the Italian parliament and the member of parliament. We want this thing back, that the officials from the Italian embassy called us and says, can we have this key, whatever is on it, can you come to the embassy, we want it. And we saw the consequence of it where on the election of President Obama, he asked for the key and we delivered it. One thing we have to understand, we use, we have to, it's our obligation to use this technology for peace. In When you send these to your ambassadors, write on it, this time cancer in exchange for peace. Last time we did energy in exchange for peace. This time every officer in every army dreads that cancer. All of us die of it in one way or another, sometimes in our lives, majority of us call it different name, but maybe 50-80% of human race dies through this process. With this technology, with what is on the table to be disclosed on Thursday, on Tuesday the 18th of April, is the beauty that we bring the work of cancer and is more or less, death sentence to as low as a headache. I think in so many ways from what I've seen on the data coming in, it works much faster than the, any painkillers I know. To understand you have millions of cells in your body which are uh, changed to a cancer cell and change 23% of millions of these in less than 36 hours, 48 hours, is a miracle. I thank the team and the professors in Tokyo University. You got to understand we have rogue people around the world. They put so much pressure on the Tokyo University. 
and we know we know the people that the university decided they're going to protect their scientists. We are dealing with a bunch of criminals, but the good thing is these criminals won't tell you when they get a cancer, they took the tablets from Cash Foundation. We wish them all the best, we give them the best soul we can, that sooner or later some of them will take this tablet. All of us get headaches, most of them get cancer. So, we welcome you to the second Blueprint Day of the Keshe Foundation. This time we call it Cancer in Exchange for Peace. It's very radical because I know a couple of world presidents who are dying of cancer. I wonder which one the answer is. We offer the technology to his eminent Ayatollah Khamenei of Iran. Very advanced case of prostate cancer. Extremely, we offered the technology before, and this time I personally delivered it to the Iranian ambassador in Rome. We have to understand it is our job. And it's our responsibility to deliver this technology the correct way. We know two South American presidents are suffering from cancer. We know at least one European leader in his family has got two members with the cancer. We know in reality a number of royal families in the Middle East are battling with it. I was there, I know, I hear. So this time we give it to the poor man on the street and the king the like. Let's see where we go. So. We have a rendezvous, as we said, for Tuesday, 18th of April, at 9 o'clock Central European time, and please invite all the pharmaceuticals. We'll put, we'll make a video for it, and we'll see, we show the harmless condition of the cancer, and we see how we go and where we can develop it. But share it as you can, as fast as you can, that there will be enough people inform all the pharmaceutical companies to be present. I know what this is going to do. I have a son in the pharmaceutical business, and I know as a doctor in that field, he'll be without the business, without the job soon. The way I'm cleaning the place, he'll have no job. 